All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us all this truth through a well. I wanted to get into um, turning back to the Lord, you know, with uh, your whole heart, man, with your whole mind. Your mindset should be, you know, losing everything for the Lord in exchange for his his grace you know for his acceptance for your survival really you know which comes to the salvation of Yahab Hashem Yahweh Shai you know so your mindset should be accepting that okay over you know wanting to save the life of you know, whatever your person is, you know, or saving your own life, okay? Or wanting to be more like Esau, to to be to be like Esau, envying Esau, envying the oppressor, envying your adversary, you know? You should want to be more like Yahawashai, okay? Yahawashai was able to leave the things of the world in pursuit of Yahweh, right? No, it's not that uh, that I must do my father's business. You know, that should be our mindset to do our father's business, right? So I'm starting it off in Proverbs 24 and 1. It says, Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them for their heart study at destruction and their lips talk of mischief right because that's 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 what they speak of you know those are the things that pertain to esau to two-thirds you know of, of mischief and and being envious you know of each other okay let me read that second verse again for their heart study it destruction okay they study destruction man okay that doesn't mean that they open up the book okay they don't go to to buy destruction the book of destruction and then they don't do that okay but the things the study of the world leads into destruction the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, you know? And what do you think wickedness is going to brew? Right? It's going to bring destruction, you know? So the wicked studieth destruction. Why? Because by those means, they destroy themselves. And the two-thirds destroy themselves, wanting to be envious of, of these other nations, of these individuals, these group of people, you know? They end up destroying themselves in the process. And by knowledge shall the chamber be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Salakia, verse 3. Through wisdom is a house builded, and by understanding it is established. See? Let me get... The knowledge of the chambers. Through wisdom is a house built, and by understanding is it established, and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. You know? So, in times past, you had Israelites, okay, that wished that they were like the heathen, right? Because the heathen were getting in trouble by the Most High. So they wanted to be like them so that they could do the pleasures of the flesh okay while simultaneously uh, destroying themselves okay and that's the thing that Jake wants to do you know they want to go after the ways of the flesh 
not knowing that they're destroying themselves in the same process. This is uh, John chapter 9, 39. I am Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh Shai said, for judgment I am come into this world that they which see not might see and that they which see might be made blind. You know? And that speaks volumes. Because who are those that see not? The Israelites. They don't see what they're in. Okay? They don't see the mischief and the predictive programming that Esau has installed and the things that he has enabled, like with this Bud Light thing that just recently came up, you know, which I don't even drink that, but, you know, this, this issue that has immersed on the, the, the T's and the ABC's, the alphabet people, you know, all these things that have emerged and not knowing that they're putting these things and, and people actually do know about it now you know that what they're doing is trying to program little kids into their their pedo rings really you know the UN just uh, recently tried to say that uh, that pedos are, are are a sexual preference you know, so we ought to respect it. There's no respect in that, man. You know? Most of them are, are Edomites, you know, that are going after little little babies. You know? Younger than eight years old, man. Okay? So this is the thing that the world is pushing. Okay? Them doing it maliciously and wickedly. Trying to get to Jake. Okay, and Jake following blindly. That's why the Yahweh Shai said, let the blind lead the blind. Okay? Because they'll just fall into a ditch together, man. You know? That's why we follow through the spirit, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So it's, it says a lot. John chapter 9, verse 39. And Yahweh Shai said, for judgment I am come into this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be blind. See, and some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? Yahweh Shai said unto them, If ye were blind, ye should have no sin. But now ye say, We see, therefore your sin remaineth. Okay. So a lot of these people think they know. Oh, yeah, I know that the Lord is coming. Okay, well, what are you doing? in order to prepare his house, you know? What are you doing to stay in order? And they just skip over it, because they're not doing anything, right? Uh, let me get this one over here. First Corinthians chapter 8 actually this is chapter 13 and verse 8 charity never faileth but whether there be prophecies they shall fail whether there be tongues they shall cease whether they be knowledge it shall vanish away for we know in part and we prophesy in part but when that which is perfect is come then that which is in part shall be done away, right? Because we're gonna know everything. So it says, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things, you know? And in the kingdom of heaven, everyone's gonna know, okay, this devil was a devil. And that's right, he is going into perdition this man is going into slavery, so on and so forth. As to all the things that pertain to the scriptures to Esau, okay? Only in the kingdom of heaven is that going to be made proof. Okay, now you have two-thirds that are saying that what we say is untrue. Okay? 
that what we say is 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 false okay but that's because we only know in part and prophesy in part you know but in the kingdom of heaven we're all going to know the whole part you know so there's going to be no prophesying in the kingdom of heaven you're not going to have an israelite teach another israelite like it says in isaiah okay why because everybody is going to be grafted in right all the israelites and those through birth in the kingdom of heaven they're going to be made perfect through reincarnation through the seed line of the perfect which are the elect you know it's no longer going to be in your dna to be wicked to go off okay to do things you're not supposed to do right so it says um first corinthians chapter 13 and 12 for now we see through a glass darkly but then face to face now i know in part but then shall i know even as also i am known and now abideth faith hope charity these three but the greatest of these is charity you know and this is a, a charitable thing you know that we do go out in highways and byways you know the brothers always posting up videos and and, and making uh lessons you know but it says proverbs 24 and verse 3 through wisdom is a house builded and by understanding it is established right through wisdom is a house builded and by understanding is it established you know how can you establish something without wisdom you know that's why how was i said before you start building this house think about it are you ready to lose everything are you really ready to do these things before you start building because if you don't complete that building halfway through it you know you're just going to be a laughing stock man you know but this is wisdom of solomon chapter 7 and verse 1 i myself also am a mortal man like to all and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth which was adam and in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh of the time of 10 months being compacted in blood of the seed of man and the pleasure that came with sleep which also proves yahweh shai was a man okay born of a man and a woman and when i was born i drew in common air and fell upon the earth which is of like nature and the first voice i uttered was crying as all others do i was nursed in swaddling clothes and that with cares for there is no king that at any other beginning from birth okay from birth we have to be uh, uh catered to from birth we're not we're not sustainable until older ages right the same thing in this truth as we come in we're not sustainable which means we're not able to go off on our own without a guide right we're not able to go off on our own without nurturing you know so that's why it's so charitable that the brothers you know and the prophets that they go out and prophesy speak unto the wind before all the elements okay and in charity giving these things which ought to come you know the haragma all right the motb that's right around the corner which we believe is the rfid you know we believe that to be the mltb we believe ourselves to be israelites followers of yahweh bashim yahweh okay we believe esau is the devil we believe america is babylon okay and the great war all right and we believe that nato and the eu are the beast 
you know? So we know these things and we go out and we teach these things. And we tell about these things, man. And that's why we have to have that faith on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know? Because through the wisdom, how does it say? Verse 3 in Proverbs 24, verse 3 it says, Through wisdom is a house builded, and by understanding it is established. You know? And that's what we're trying to establish, the kingdom of heaven. You see? And that's not by a, a physical, literal building of a temple. Okay? But through the spiritual, that's how we're building the temple. You know, through the spirit, through the renewal of the mind. What was that? First John chapter three. You know, because you have people that that believe that the building is going to happen literally, and after it literally happens, then they'll literally know that it's the literal time, and so on and so forth, man. You know, when the Most High didn't make it so, right? And you have other people that complain about it. Well, why did he make it in riddles? And well, why did he do it like this? You know? But it's not unto them to know. But if it's been given for you, for you to know, then you have a heavy responsibility. Right? It says, uh, 1 John, might have been 2 John. First John chapter 5, and let me start off at verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he heareth us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. If any man see his brother sin, a sin which is unto death not unto death it's a lot he shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death there is a sin unto death i do not say that he shall pray for it all unrighteousness is sin and there is a sin not unto death we know that what whosoever is born of god sinneth not but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not, and we know that we are of God. And the whole world lieth in wickedness. You see? So to be with the world is to be adverse, <clears throat> really, to the Most High. Right? So it says, <clears throat> verse 20, And we know that the Son of God has come, and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true, even in his son, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. This is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amun. You know? And that's why that mark of the beast also is such a big thing because it's a small idol. Okay, because through that you're going to worship who? The beast. You're going to worship Esau. You're going to worship his system. You know? It's a lot. You see? And that's what we go out to warn. Not to fall for the system of Esau. Okay? But instead to turn to Yahweh Shem Shai with fear and trembling. Right? So let me get this one.
is uh, 1 John chapter 2, and verse 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loveth the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. You see? And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Little children, it is the last time, as ye have heard, the, that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us, which is what? All Israel. All Israel is not of Israel, right? Like it says in the Romans. Why? Because if they were all part of Israel, okay? If all Israel was Israel, okay, you would have uh, the time of the Maccabees, Okay, would have been successful. The time of Yahawashai would have been successful and we would have had a kingdom. Okay, the time after King Solomon would have been successful. The king, the time of King Saul would have been successful. You know, the time of the judges would have been successful and we know that it wasn't okay why because of Jake we have that 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 wicked spirit in some of our people man that want to be part of the world and are thinking about the now you know otherwise the exodus would have been successful immediately would have gone straight to the promised land but what happened You know? So let me read that part again. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have no doubt have continued with us. But they went out, they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Okay, not all Israel is of Israel. Which means not all Israel stands for the same thing under Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you, because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar, but he that denieth Yahweh Shai is the Mashiach, he is anti-Christ that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father, but he that acknowledges the Son hath the Father also. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he hath promised us even eternal life which is who israel israel was promised eternal life right and through that knowledge wisdom understanding we gain okay that understanding that eternal life has been given to us these things have i written unto you concerning them that seduce you but the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you and ye Need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teach you, anointed teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it is taught you, ye shall abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, and when he shall appear, we may have confidence, okay, which that word confidence means to be in fidelity with 
And if you're faithful, okay, and not be ashamed before him at his coming, if you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who doeth righteousness is born of him, right? So here's another one I wanted to get. Um, 1 John 3 and... 1 John 3 and 3. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Right? And that's some of the knowledge that we try to pass down, man. You know, so when people ask us, you know, why do you eat pork? Or why don't you eat pork? You know, why don't you, basically, why don't you do some of the things we do? You know, why aren't you part of the world like us? You know, going out and, 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 and partying all the time and being around, you know, things of the world. You know? People get insulted because you're not like them, man. When you look at a body, all right, this is how you know you're not, you're not part of the world. The world is governed under a body, right? They have different limbs, just like the righteous. The righteous body being Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the elect, okay, and the ones that follow, okay? The same way Esau, Edom, has tried to mimic that in the world. Okay? And the way that Esau thinks, he wants the rest of us to act and follow. You know? But when there's a foreign object in your body, okay, the body will always attack it. I believe it's the white cells that do that. You know? Whenever, if you see the movie Inception, you have, uh, what is it called? You have this, uh, these characters that enter each other's minds in order to influence things that they do, right? So in one of them, they enter the mind and they start doing really crazy things in the mind to where the other people in the mind start noticing it, which is part of his body. Okay, so his body starts realizing that there's a foreign person in his mind and then they start all turning to that person and start following after it trying to attack it okay that's how the body of the world works and the body will look at you and it'll be offended because you're not doing what the body's doing so it'll attack you okay and that's what the world is doing to the elect because they don't follow after their ways and and try to do the things they do, okay? They want to attack it and demonize us, okay? Not knowing that our body, which is not yet here, okay? Whenever that time comes, it's immensely, infinitely more powerful, okay? Than whatever body Esau is trying to, to set, you know? So whenever that that comes to play, okay, that argument is going to be settled real quick, right? And that's why we're not supposed to be envious of these evil things, man. You know, how are you going to envy Esau when his end is destruction? You know, but not until the end, not until in the kingdom, people are going to say, oh, yeah, why were we envious of this dude and, and his hair color and the way he set things up? Okay. But it's because people don't know. And that's why it's called knowledge. You know, something you, you know. And the wisdom comes with the application of what you know, man. You know? So it says, Proverbs 24 and verse 6, For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war. You see? It says in uh, Psalms chapter 2. Let me actually get it so I don't just be talking about it. Psalms chapter 2 and verse verse 10 
Be wise now therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve Yahweh with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son lest he be angry and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. You know? So be instructed. You know, being instructed, that's one of the things. Also, in Psalms 2, in the beginning of Psalms 2, it says, um, let me see. Why do the heathen rage, all right, Psalms 2 and 1, and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves as the rulers, take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. You see? Because they have a council, okay, of coming together. That's why I call it a, a parliament. Because owls, which owls are known for being seers, owls in, in a group is called the parliament. Okay, that's why in, in the Council of Esau, it's called Parliament, whenever all of them come together, which are what? Seers. Because they know you have to hide, okay, the truth by knowing the truth. And that's how they do it. You know? So it says Proverbs chapter 20, 24 and 6, For by wise counsels thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counselors there is safety. Wisdom is too high for a fool. He openeth not his mouth in the gate. He that deviseth to do evil shall be called a mischievous person. The thought of foolishness is sin, and the scorner is an abomina abomination to men. You know? Which a scorner is a uh, is somebody that you know tries to I believe it's somebody that tries to lecture you or, or, or mock you know because it says yeah how will will scorn them to death so it says um, it's a lot that device it to do evil shall be called a mischievous person the thought of foolishness is sin and the scorner is an abomination to men if thou faint in the day of adversity thy strength is small okay which is which is what the faith you know if you have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh in the day of adversity okay you have faith that he's going to pull you through it time of trouble that's coming through the mercy we get from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh by submitting ourselves to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai okay our faith is not going to be small but those that don't they're going to crumble to Esau Edom you know the brother uh, the elder brother from Mississippi had this uh, vision or vision okay uh, or he was speaking about a brother that had a vision about the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? When you had lines of people forming for the MOTB and those that didn't take it got their heads chopped off, man. You know? In the time of adversity, okay? If your faith is small, you're gonna fail. See? If your strength is small, and what's small strength? Small strength is, is having your faith in men, having your faith in the way of the world, okay? Strong faith, okay? Is having your faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, knowing that the king of the universe, okay, is gonna take care of you even after death. So it says, if thou faint in the day of adversity, Thy strength is small. 
If thou forbear to deliver them that are drawn unto death, and those that are ready to be slain, if thou sayest, Behold, we knew it not, doth not he that pondereth the heart consider it? And he that keepeth thy soul, doth, he, doth not he know it? And shall not he render to every man according to his works? See, my son, eat thou honey, because it is good, and the honeycomb, which is sweet to thy taste, so shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul when thou hast found it. Then there shall be a reward, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. You know? So this knowledge that we possess is very, very important. Because this is to the possession of our souls, man. If we don't have this knowledge, then guess who takes it? Esau, Edom. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right? This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. And verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. And there shall no torment touch them. You see? The point is simple, man. It's a lot. already running low on battery but you know the soul of, of, of the righteous belong to the most high man and he's not gonna let anybody touch it okay that shouldn't you see because this is all given unto the most high by the most high it's a lot so it says in the sight of the unwise they seem to die and in their departure is taken for misery and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Okay, why? Because it's going to be forever and ever, the promise that has been given to us. Right? This hasn't been promised to any other nation, but the nation of Israel. The other nations have been promised something, which is judgment. Okay, and the other nations know that as long as Israel, okay, doesn't go back to their power, doesn't claim their power, they know that there's no way we can come into power. And that's why the name was taken away from us. And that's why our name was taken away from us. And that's why we were taken away unto these dumb idols okay because if we lack the knowledge to call upon the lord then there would be no one to save us and now that it's been given to us through the spirit now we know who our enemy is okay and now we know how we must act upon it right wisdom of solomon chapter 3 and verse 4 for though they be punished in the sight of men yet is their hope full of immortality and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For God hath proved them and found them worthy for himself. Right? So it says, As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks amongst the stubble. And they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. And their Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall reign forever. You see? So these are comforting words unto us, man. Which reminds me, the scriptures are comforting words unto us. Okay? And that's who the comforter is. Okay? The knowledge that comes out of these scriptures. To prove that, let me go to the book of Maccabees. I believe it was might have been 12. I've read this a few weeks ago. Book of Maccabees 12 and 9. Therefore also, albeit, we need none of those things, for that we have the holy books of scripture in our hands to comfort us. And now through the knowledge, wisdom, understanding that Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, 
has given us and bestowed upon us. Now do we understand these scriptures, okay, which has bringing us new life, which is also in Solomon, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7. Let me get it. And I'll come back to Wisdom of Solomon 3. So I'm going to hold that. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and verse 24. And it reads, For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath of power of the Most High and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore can no undefiled thing fall into her, for she is the brightness of the everlasting light, mm. the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High, okay, and the image of His goodness, all right? And we were, we were made in His image, right? The sons of Adam, the sons of Seth, okay sons of noah the sons of uh, uh, uh of shum the sons of abraham the sons of isaac okay the sons of uh of jacob which are the sons of israel okay we were made in his image which is the image of what wisdom knowledge understanding you know we're the only ones that can get this that's why it says that in Romans chapter 9, really throughout the whole entire book of Romans, you know, but mainly in Romans chapter 9, that's why it speaks about the Israelites and the Edomites, okay, and who was chosen and how not all Israel's of Israel, you see, because this wisdom and by the remembering of this wisdom has this brought us back to the power, to the most high, okay, so that some that wake up out of the dust of the earth will be led into, into destruction, but some unto everlasting life. Right? So it says, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, and verse 27, And being what one, she can do all things, and remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. And in all ages entering unto holy souls, she maketh them friends, of the Most High and prophets. For God loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Whoo, man. For she is more beautiful than the sun and above all the order of the stars being compared with the light she is found before it. For after this cometh night, but vice shall not prevail against wisdom. For the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? Like it says in the in the epistles, okay, we are we are the sons of light, okay. So we can't no longer live in darkness, okay. We have to live in this light, man. So it says, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, and verse seven. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine to and fro like sparks amongst the stubble. Why? Because that's the destination of Babylon the Great and the rest of them stubble okay because it's a destruction that's coming right it says verse 8 they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and their lord shall reign forever they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints and he hath care for his elect you see it's only for the elect, man, you know? So the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is to bring us closer to the Father, right? To bring us closer to Him for salvation. This is uh, Isaiah 30 and eight. Now go, write it upon them, before them in a table, and note it in a book, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people lying children children that will not hear the law of Yahweh which say to the seers see not and to the prophets 
speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits, get ye out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Okay? Because they don't want the way of the Lord, man. Okay? What they want is the way of destruction. They want us to, like it says in Jeremiah, I believe it was Jeremiah 8. Okay? They want to hear those smooth things, man. You know? They're going to be sheep led to the slaughter, man. That's basically all they're good for. You know? But like it says in Romans 9, they were created that way for a reason. Okay? They were created that way for a reason. So that we could be who we need to be. Okay? It says, Isaiah chapter 1. And let me get verse 25. I will turn my hand upon thee and purely purge away thy dross and take away thy tin. And I will restore thy judges as at the first and thy counsels as at the beginning. Afterward, that shall be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Okay, and how is that purge coming? When the destruction comes, when the missiles come, which we believe is going to be Russia and the rest of the world. Okay, destroying Babylon, the great America. Okay, when the missiles come, the elect, which have been in the circle of trust in Yahab Hashem Yahweh they're going to be beamed up. Okay, some may die before that. But the ones that don't are going to be beamed up unto the chariots. Okay? And our bodies are going to change in an instant. All right? And the two-thirds that aren't taken up of Israel are going to be here. And they're going to be... What is that word I'm looking for? Let's see. I think it says it here. Purge. Okay, they're gonna be purged. All their sin is gonna be purged away from them. Okay, by the death that they're going to in have to endure. You know, when they see those missiles coming down, hitting, burning, some might even survive that, man. You know, the most time might have it to well, you'll survive it. You know, and as you're trying to get up, you're flesh is going to be peeling off of you okay chunks of your body just going to be melting off of your off of your body bones detaching just completely falling off and splattering you know the foul and disgusting smell you know and that's all going to be left because of the judgment that's coming you know so it says and i will turn my hand upon thee and purely purge away thy dross and take it with thy tin which are the impurities you know and i will restore thy judges as at the first which are the elect and thy counselors as at the beginning afterward thou shalt be called the city of righteousness the faithful city which is going to be Israel okay Zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converts with righteousness you see Zion the word to Zion means a monument who are the monument the 144,000 who are the converts the ones that follow okay it says and the destruction of the transgressors and of the sinners transgressors are who the rest of the world the sinners are the two-thirds shall be together and they that forsake Yahweh shall be consumed by what the destruction for they shall be ashamed of the oaks which ye have desired okay and that word oaks is leadership all right and ye shall be confounded for the gardens that ye have chosen these other nations Right? These other ways of life, these other uh, ways of knowledge that you chose. For ye shall be as an oak whose leaf fadeth, and as a garden that hath no water. Why? Because you didn't have this knowledge. This is water. 
okay? This is the fountain of youth, to everlasting youth. And the strong shall be made as a toe, shall be as a toe, Salak, and the mark of it as a spark, and they shall both burn together, and none shall quench them. You see? So for choosing the ways of, of Esau, Edom, you're going to be left in a drop. You're going to be left in a destruction, okay, that you're going to die alongside with Esau, except you're an Israelite, you know? And you could have had this, but the Most High didn't have it so. So with that, I want to give our honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Hope this lesson was edifying. Shalom.